Hey everybody. I never wait for people to get here because I personally do not like to sit and have somebody sit there for like five minutes while I'm watching the video replay because most people are going to watch the replay of this anyway because it's the days before Christmas and people are crazy and they're shopping and trying to find a freaking parking spot and wondering what the hell they're going to get Uncle Bob who's like a geek and you know but you're still supposed to give a gift because you picked his name this year. Anyway, so that's all the shit that's going on. Um, I thought today I would talk to you about the magical essence of slowing down and stretching time. So what do I mean by that? Um, one of the things that happens is we rush around frantically and we, you know, we're like moving fast, we're making decisions fast, we're adrenaline out, we're like blasting cortisol into our system because we're all, you know, stressed out with everything that we have to do. We have so much to do. We have so much to do. We have so much to do. Hey, Giselle. And so it's very frustrating um, to like have all of this energy in your body, right? When you're trying to do this. So what I've learned is when I have days that are just full of stuff that I have to do, um, it's very helpful to actually take the time out to stop, to breathe, to ground myself. You know, yesterday I was talking about grounding. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, it was great. It was full of tips for managing stress um, and grounding your energy. And what that does is it, it drops everything out of your head and you kind of come into your heart. Your heart center is able to synchronize the brain waves of your of your brain, the brain waves of your brain. That's a bit redundant. Sorry, I have an itchy eye. <laughs> I'm always authentic on these videos. Um, and what it does is it allows higher order thinking to happen. You're going to be more efficient if you take the time to slow down and breathe. If you actually slow your physical actions down, you know how we rush around in the morning trying to get our kids off to school? If you slow down and you actually just breathe and move slowly, you're going to be a lot more efficient. You're not going to forget the shit that you have to go back in the house to get. You're not going to get the kid to school and realize you didn't get the lunchbox. Um, you're not going to get out of the store and realize that you didn't get Uncle Bob's gift that you went in there for to start with because then you segued off into getting your daughters all this other stuff that you, know, you, you saw and got inspired by. So my point is, if you slow down, your brain is going to stay engaged on the task at hand. The second tip is to actually affirm I have more than enough time to do all that I have to do with ease and grace. I have more than enough time to do all that I have to do with ease and grace. So what are you doing? You're blasting out energy in front of you. You want to pregame. I'm talking about pregaming all the time. You want to blast a frequency of peace and calm and confidence that you're going to have more than enough time and that time is going to like expand for you. And I do this when I um, am running late and I think I'm going to be late to a meeting. I always say I have more than enough time to get there and everything's going to be, you know, fine. And when I get there, it's like magical. It's like somehow I'm right on time. I'm walking in the door right when I'm supposed to be, even though I left like 10 minutes late. So Remember that we're living in a quantum field. We're living in a field of infinite possibilities. So if you're running around like a freaking idiot, like blah, crazy, crazy, and you're saying, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, and that's what everybody does. So what they're doing is they're pre-gaming. They're sending energy ahead of them into the field saying, I don't have enough time. I have too much to do. I'm crazy, crazy. So that field is responsive to everything that you're speaking and saying and vibrationally putting out. So calm yourself down. Be a freaking Buddha. Be Zen. Just breathe, slow down, move slowly, and tell the field in front of you, the quantum field, that energy, that essence in front of you, I have more than enough time to do what I wanted to do with ease and grace. You don't have to be crazy frantic during the holidays. You don't have to be crazy frantic in your business. You don't have to be crazy frantic as you're going through your day. Be intentional about creating and crafting that space ahead of you that you're walking into, having it hold your intention of, I have more than enough time. I'm going to drive in and find a parking spot at the mall, you know, instead of, oh my God, I'm never going to have to get a parking spot at the mall. Like, it's crazy. Everybody's out shopping today, right? No, say, hey, I'm going to drive right in. Boink, there's going to be a perfect thing. I'm going to walk in. I'm going to easily and effortlessly get my gifts. I'm going to find the perfect gift. I'm going to get out and it's all going to be done. And I am going to be joy-filled and happy and relaxed. 
So that's my tip for the day. Try it. It works. It's weird. It's magic. It's freaky. We are living in a freaky world, you know, when you think about the quantum field and all the infinite possibility that's right between me and you. And you might as well pregame and throw your energy out and your intentions out and then walk into it and experience what it is that you desire to experience. Bye.